welcome back to my channel my name is Kendra and today I'm gonna to be doing my top five books that I read in fall the first book I'm gonna talk about is Eleanor and Gray by Brittany C Cherry and this is about obviously Eleanor and Gray um, Eleanor and Gray end up meeting at a party um, Eleanor is off in the corner reading a book and Gray comes up to her and starts having a conversation with her and they instantly have a connection with each other they end up becoming really, really close, and during this time, Eleanor is having a really hard time because of something that is going on with her mother, and while that is going on, Gray is there every step of the way, but when something happens, she ends up moving away, and they start drifting apart. Well, years later, she ends up moving back to her town that she originally was from, and she gets this nanny position, and lo and behold, it is... The children of Gray. So she meets Gray again and he has definitely had a very tragic past as well and he is not who he used to be. So this book was so so good. The romance between Eleanor and Gray when they were younger and when they were older is absolutely phenomenal it, it's it was beautiful like everything about that book was so so good I literally was crying from the very beginning of this book all the way until the very end of this book but yeah I loved it um, highly highly recommend reading this book because it is just so beautifully written Another book that I really loved that I read in the fall is The Wives by Taryn Fisher. I ended up reading an e-copy of this book and it is about this woman. She and her husband are obviously married and she knows that her husband has two other wives. Well, one day when she was doing laundry, she ends up finding like a receipt by one of the other wives and she ends up becoming very curious about these other two women so she ends up finding one of the women and she ends up having a conversation with her and she notices like bruises and stuff on her wrist and she's very uh, concerned about this because she her husband does not abuse her so why would he be abusing another woman so that's all I'm going to really say about that because this book was crazy. Um, it will definitely take you on a ride from the very beginning all the way to the end. It's one of those books where you have no idea what the heck is going on and yeah, it's so, so good. I highly recommend this book if you're looking for a great thriller. The next book I want to talk about is Top Secret by Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. And this is about Keaton, his girlfriend wants to have a threesome for her birthday. So he ends up going online to this dating website and to look for a partner for them. Um, while he is doing that, he ends up talking to this other guy and they end up flirting and really um, have, start having a connection with each other and when the time comes for them to actually have the threesome um, he finds out that the other guy is his frat brother that he absolutely despises so there's definitely a huge banter between the two characters and yeah this book was so good um, the relationship between Keaton and Luke were so, so good. I definitely love A Good Enemies to Lovers, and this one was phenomenal. Um, I read Him and Us by L. Kennedy and Serena Bowen and absolutely loved that those books as well. Um, I feel like they write the best male-male romance novels ever. So I was super glad that I picked up this book and like I said, I really, really enjoyed it. If, if you're really interested in Enemies to Lovers and Male Male Romance, I definitely recommend checking this one out. And also, if you love Male Male Romances, definitely check out Him and Us Duet by 
this author as well. So good. The next book I want to talk about is Hate Notes by V. Kalen and Penelope Ward. This is about Charlotte and her fiance break up. She goes to a consignment shop to sell her wedding dress and while she's there she browses through the other wedding dresses and she ends up finding this one wedding dress that she likes and she notices on the inside of the seam there's a blue note sewn in there and she ends up reading it and she finds it very cute and she ends up taking the dress home so she can really look at this note and she ends up looking up this guy and basically stalking him and she ends up finding him and when she does meet him he is a complete jerk and then as time goes on little does she know that this guy that she thought was had this cute little note sewn into a dress and is now a jerk is actually her new boss so yeah um loved this book i hadn't read i haven't read a good office romance in a really long time so i'm so glad i read this one um, i loved their relationship it was really good their chemistry was on point and there was way more to this book than just their relationship there was um more depth to the story and i really really enjoyed that about this book i definitely recommend this book and i definitely will be reading more things by these authors and the last book that i want to talk about is rustic hearts by Amber Kelly and this is book one in the Poplar Falls series and this is about Sophie she and her mother moved to New York because her parents are getting a divorce and years later she ends up getting a phone call from her aunt letting her know that her grandmother has passed away and she has not been back home since her mom and her moved away because her and her father do not have a good relationship at all and she ends up going back to her hometown and her family owns a ranch so while she's there um, she stays with her family and one of the farmhands instantly does not like her at all and he is very rude and mean to her I loved the small town feel of this book when she goes back to her hometown um, I love a good enemies to lovers and the relationship between Braxton and Sophie are so good they they have great chemistry with each other um, this book will definitely make you cry I loved how emotionally involved I was in this book and the development of the characters and I also love the family dynamic in this book her getting to know her father again and developing a better relationship with him so I definitely love this book I cannot wait until the second book in this series comes out it comes out in January and I will be definitely checking out this book as soon as it is published and those are my favorite books that I read in fall let me know in the comments if you read any of these if you plan to read any of these and what you thought about them and until then I will see you in my next video bye